Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with an update to the Space 1999 Moon Buggy. So at this point I've got the main hull put together, and while it's not a particularly complicated assembly, I do have to give round two credit for some nice clean work on this. The only place I had to do any fill work at all was here on the bottom where the six axles go in. I had a little bit of a gap with a couple of those, but you know they slide in, fit nice and tight, and they're plenty sturdy here. You know, just give them a little test here, and none of them feel like they're going to bend or break over time. And aside from those, the only other thing that I had to install was the headlight backer up in there. And now that that's done, everything's set up, time to put this into some paint. And there we go. I want to give this a little bit of a weathered appearance, so I did some TS-46 light sand, and then some TS-47 chrome yellow. And that gives a little extra shadowing, a little extra shading, so uh, we've got a little more depth to it. And now if I were doing this box stock, the next step would be to drop the engine in. And you can see, that actually fits in there pretty well. But I'm not going to do that. But instead, I'm going to be adding some lights to it. I got these from Evan Design. It's their nano LEDs, and you can see, got a pair of those in here, and they are wee little guys here. 14 inch wires, which is a lot more than I'm going to need, but I can cut those short. And I also got a battery holder and switch. And these are really nice because they're already set up, you basically just have to plug them together, don't need to do the math for getting the voltage and amperage correct, so that's really nice. But before I install them, I'm going to have to do a little bit of prep work. I need to put in a light barrier, and for that, I'm going to be using Tester's Metallic Silver. Anytime you put LEDs in a model, if it's light colored, yellow, white, light blue, light gray, you're going to get light leaks if you don't prep for it. Uh, I've been guilty of it myself, and I've seen other models where gorgeous work, but as soon as you turn the lights on, the hood or the fenders or something starts glowing. So I'm going to show you here what we need to do to prevent that. So it's actually pretty simple. Any place around where you expect the lights to be, right up in here where I'm going to be installing the lights, I'm just going to take a little bit of silver and I'm going to just paint that whole surface right up in there. Now, if you're doing a car body or a spacecraft or something that's pretty good size, you probably want to just spray the whole inside of the model with something that'll block the light. I can get away with brush painting it here because this is such a small area and because I've got nice sharp corners where it changes direction. One of the things you don't want to do is you don't want to just stop painting halfway across a panel because even though it looks okay in some light, you're going to get a weird shadow in other light. So that's why I'm extending the silver down into the floor here. I don't really expect anybody's going to be examining this from underneath, but I don't want it to have a weird shadowed effect on the finished model. And pretty much any opaque color will work here. If you want to use black or a dark gray or something like that, that'll be fine. I like using silver because of how well it covers especially the testers enamel. Basically, I can get away with one coat, and I don't even have to apply it really smoothly, and it'll still get the job done for what I need here. Although, as long as I'm here, I'm going to paint the mounts for the control levers, just so if you check those out through the floor, they'll have kind of a more mechanical look to them. And that should just about do it. All right. So, got my silver barrier in place now. See how that looks. And now it's time to actually get the lights installed. Okay, got the LEDs glued to the buckets on the front of the interior. And I put these in with some PVA glue. It's one of the ones that was recommended by Evan Designs and seems to hold on just fine. We'll slide that in here now. And I've got it wired up. See, I've got the battery holder and the switch there. I made myself a little note so I'd know which direction to throw the switch when I needed to. And, bam. Got myself a lit up moon buggy. I got a little bit of light leaking on the top there. So that's one of the things that you want to check, double check before you glue everything together. And I also overshot when I was putting the battery holder in. So uh, we're going to treat this as a Bob Ross moment and call it a happy little accident. 
I figure since this is a moon buggy, they're going to need a recharge port somewhere on it, so I'm just going to install one of these on the underside. I'll cover over the hole and uh, look like it was intentional. So, at this point, I'm uh, going to finalize the circuit. I'll do something to take care of that glowing panel above the headlights, and, uh, and then it'll be decals, dull coat, and final assembly. So, have the update for that next week. You can check back then, and thanks for watching.